Namaste. In this video, we are going to solve this double integration by using trapezoidal and Simpson rule. Okay, I am using Simpson 1 by 3 rules. Okay, so first let us calculate the value of h. Here n is equals to 2. So h is equals to 2 minus minus 2 by 2. It is 2. And k is equals to 4 minus 0 by 2 is equals to 2. So let us form a symmetrical representation. Okay. So it can be easy for us. So this is 2 0 i plus 1 x i plus 1 y i plus 1 yes so when it is minus 0 0 x i y i plus 1 again it becomes 4 0 okay it becomes similarly 4 2 it is 2 2 it is 0 2 it is 0 minus 2 it is 2 minus 2 it is 4 minus 2 yes since it is from minus 2 to 2 minus 2 0 2 minus 2 0 2 minus 2 0 2 yes and it is 0 it is 0 2 4 okay so we use trapezoidal rule so first we have to calculate f 0 minus 2 is equals to what is the value of h 0 minus 2 0 square minus 0 and minus 2 square is 4 similarly we calculate for 2 minus 2 it gives 12 okay f 4 minus 2 it gives 28 f 0 0 it gives 0 f 2 0 it gives 4 f 4 0 it gives 16 f 0 2 it gives 4 f 2 2 it gives 4 f 4 2 it gives 12 okay these are the values in these points now we use okay first use trapezoidal rule so trapezoidal rule is so what are what was the formula for the trapezoidal rules this was 2 2 2 and middle part was multiplied by 4 yes so that means h k by 4 the corner are not multiplied by 4 yes so corner are 4 okay 0 minus 2 uh, 4 minus 2 4 0 uh, it is not a corner okay 0 0 2 and 4 2 so these are the four corners so the values are 4 plus 28 plus 24 it's 12 plus 4. 4 plus 28 plus 12 plus 4. So these are the four corners. So it is not multiplied by any other terms. Yes. Please see the formula if you are confused. And next is these points are multiplied by 2. Yes. So 2 into 12 plus 0 plus 16 plus 4 and last one is multiplied by 4 center part is 4 2 0 so 4 2 0 is 4 and what is the value of h it is 2 k is also 2 it is okay 4 48 plus 64 plus 16 and we get it as 128 Similarly, let us calculate the value of value of this integration by using Simpson 1 by 3 rule. Okay, this is by trapezoidal rule. 
and by Simpson 1 by 3 rule okay Simpson 1 by 3 rule so in Simpson 1 by 3 rule SK by 9 it becomes yes and in Simpson 1 by 3 rule these points are multiplied by 4s yes? please view the previous video if you do not know that so these are multiplied by 4 and the center part is multiplied by 16 that means this part is multiplied by 4 and this is multiplied by 16 so we write the same 4 plus 28 plus 12 plus 4 so these are the four corners they are not multiplied by any constant so next 2 instead of 2 we use 4 here 4 into 12 plus 0 plus 16 plus 4 plus 16 into 4 yes and s and k is 2 so 2 into 2 by 9 and it gives 48 plus 128 plus 64 and it is equals to 120 so let us check the exact value of the given integration okay so minus 2 2 0 4 x square plus x y plus y square okay d x d y and when we solve this what we get okay let us check so Okay, let us solve. So, with respect to x, okay. First, with respect to y, d, okay, with respect to y. So, let us solve it with respect to y. What we get? x square is, we get it as x square y plus x y square by 2 plus y cube by 3 0 to 4 okay similarly 2 okay minus 2 you get dx here so it becomes 4 x square plus 4 means y is going to 16 so 8 x plus 64 by 3 dx okay so again it becomes 4x cube by 3 plus 8x square by 2 plus 64 by 3x and it is minus 2 to 2 so when we substitute it its value is 90.67 okay so we by trapezoidal method it was 128 and by simpson 1 by 3 rule it is 120 so simpson 1 by 3 seems better it is nearer to the exact value so simpson 1 by 3 rule is better and more accurate than trapezoidal rule okay in next video we'll be starting gaussian quadrature integration and we'll be deriving its formula and solving its example okay Thank you and bye-bye.